It's been nine years of glorious success, but it's time for Jurgen Klopp to say goodbye to Anfield. Let's take a look at how he restored Liverpool to be one of European football's powerhouses again. Hello and welcome to Football Now. After 491 matches, Jurgen Klopp has taken charge of his last ever game as Liverpool manager. Since taking over nine years ago, Klopp has won eight trophies and moulded countless players into world-class superstars. He won the heart of the red half of the city by restoring the magic into a club that struggled for success in the years prior to his arrival. Let's take a look back at how he did it. Arriving in October 2015, Klopp immediately announced himself as the normal one in his opening press conference and called for Liverpool fans to turn from doubters to believers after a turbulent period prior to his appointment. With the aim of getting the club back into the Champions League and competing for trophies, he began to build a new squad in his own vision. Some of the recruitments he made went on to become some of the most iconic players ever to wear the famous red shirt. It's hard really to think of it in that first part of his reign too many players who came in and didn't excel at Liverpool. I mean Sadio Mane I suppose was the one who, who started it all off. An incredible, incredible player for Liverpool and of course when Mohamed Salah came to the club it just sort of was the perfect synergy of him, Roberto Firmino who obviously had, had been brought in by the previous manager but really came in, into his own under Jurgen Klopp and that front three was incredibly, incredibly special. One of if not the best front three in the world. Virgil van Dijk and, and Alison Becker obviously I think were the, the two big ones that I guess took Liverpool from being a, a very good team to, to being a great team and the, you know they're still amongst the best in the world in their position. And then Trent Alexander-Arnold obviously not a signing but someone that Klopp you know, brought through and nurtured from being an academy youngster to a, a really talented first team player, a generational first team player I suppose for Liverpool. Silverware's success finally arrived in 2019. After finishing runners-up the year before, Klopp's team bounced back and lifted the Champions League trophy in Madrid. Twelve months later, Klopp delivered Liverpool their first ever Premier League title, 30 years after the club's last English First Division win. His final season in the Anfield dugout may not have been the fairy tale Liverpool fans were hoping for, as their title challenge fell apart as the campaign reached its climax. But an emotional send-off after his final game demonstrated the impact his huge personality has had on one of England's most famous clubs. Club leaving was always going to be emotional, I think, for a lot of people. He's Premier League and era-defining for us, mainly because he was the first one to win it. People who just judge him on, oh, well, you only won league title in nine years, or you only did this, are missing the point of having Jurgen Klopp as a manager. Jurgen Klopp connects with Liverpool because Liverpool is a city which loves people who do what they say and say what they mean. And Jurgen Klopp doesn't just pay lip service to what Liverpool is, he embodies what he says. And the greatest managers at Liverpool have always done that. Bill Shankly always springs to mind. Kenny Dalglish is another manager that brings to mind. These people were people who guided Liverpool through difficult times and good times and are loved equally for doing both. The Jurgen Klopp feeling is a very unique one as a fan base and to lose that, that's what makes people feel so emotional. It's the end of that part of our lives. What a ride it has been for Klopp and Liverpool. But all good things must come to an end and since Jurgen announced his departure from Anfield in January of this year, there has been one question on everybody's minds. Who will be next? Well, Dutch coach Arnie Schlott has been handed the task of following on from one of the most loved managers in the club's history. Well, uh, first of all, I have to congratulate all the Liverpool supporters that they are getting Arne Slot, which in my opinion, and of course I'm a little bit biased, but is going to be the best coach, or is the best coach at the moment here in Holland. Give him some time, because of course uh, Jurgen Klopp is, is, has got big shoes to fill, but I think he's going to do great in his own way. I don't think he's going to imitate Jurgen Klopp, he's going to be himself. So he's, he's a great guy, he's, he's tactically he's very good. He's, he's been the best for us, the, the, those three years were the best years as a, as a final supporter since I was a supporter and I'm already 40 years old, so Arne Slot is, is the real deal. So, Liverpool have their replacement sorted, but what could be next for Klopp himself? He cited running out of energy as the reason for resigning from his Liverpool role. So, could this be the end of his managerial career, or could we see him pop up again on a touchline somewhere soon? I think he is the sort of person who 
like Pep Guardiola, is a bit of a, a football addict. He does need a break. I think he looks like he needs a break, but I can imagine it won't be too long before he's itching to, to get back out there and manage. I suppose if, if the, the rigours of, of managing in, a, in the Premier League or in a, in a top European league are too much at this point, then international management is probably the way to go, isn't it? So I think Germany seems like the, I think probably the general consensus is that is where we will end up at some point with the with the Germany national team. I don't think it's the end of him in management. I think he's too much a, a football addict to, to give it up completely. It's been a nostalgic time for Liverpool fans as the Jurgen Klopp era and his nine-year reign at Anfield comes to an end. What do you think is next for Jürgen? Do tell us your thoughts using the hashtag FootballNowClock. That's all we have time for from our studio here in Doha. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.